Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. It's so great to have you tuning in wherever you're watching from. Uh, as I was looking at today's psalm that we're looking at, I was thinking about the cries for help that have come to me as a father. I got two little kids, uh, and the cries for help are everything from help me get a snack to help me tie my shoes to help me. I'm really, really hurt, and I need you desperately. And the words are usually the same. They're usually daddy help. Um, and so the, those aren't any different, but it's the tone of voice and, and the inflection that tells you the severity of the issue. If you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can tell the difference of just how those words are spoken. You can tell the difference of, of a cry if it's just a, a whimper or if it's they are seriously injured and need your help. You can tell not from a difference of words, but of tone. And, and today I share that with you because I believe God has the same ability to tell where we're at with things. As we look at Psalm chapter 28 today, uh, we see a psalm that is expressing a desire for help and to be heard. Uh, I'm going to start down in verse 2. It says, Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands towards your most holy sanctuary. He goes on to talk about just the desperate need for help and how he doesn't want to, to experience the pain and destruction of the sinful people around him. And it's easy sometimes to wonder, does God hear me? Does God hear my prayers? Does he know when I just say, hey, I need some help with this task or when I need help for my life? And so we continue. As you, as you look down, verse 6, it says, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield, in Him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts with the song I give thanks to Him. The Lord is the strength of His people. He is the saving refuge for His anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. See, in the midst of uh, David's cry for help and for mercy and assistance out to the Lord, we get the reminder that God cares and God hears our prayers. And so I don't know where you're at on your journey and your prayer life. I don't know if you still struggle with, with wondering, does God really hear all of us? Does God really hear each and every one of us? Does he understand the tone behind what we're saying? Does he understand the desperation of this prayer that I have in my life right now? And I want to answer that for you from this psalm. And the answer is yes, he does care. He does hear you. He does understand where you're coming at it from. He does understand the, the needs that you have. So my question for you then is, do you trust in him the way David does in this psalm? Do you trust that he is your strength and your shield? David says, he is my strength and my shield. In him, my heart trusts and I am helped. So today, do you trust that God is your strength and your shield? Or are you trying to be your own strength? And shield. Because one of those things will run out. We, when we are trying to, to guard and, and protect every area of our life, we're trying to be our own strength, we fail. We fall short. We need God to be that strength and that shield for us. And so today, I pray that you would trust in Him, that you would trust that He hears your prayers, that He cares about your life, that He knows where you are with some of your requests. He knows if it's just a little request or a desperate cry for help, and I pray that you would trust in him as your strength and your shield and that your heart would be glad because of it. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.